All right, guys. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. I've actually recorded some videos, not just not, you know, edited them and put them together. So, uh, for those of you still subscribe, thank you very much. Um, but I just got this in the mail, so I thought, you know, I haven't seen. I literally, when I saw this a few months ago, on uh, Hobby Search, which is where I order most of my stuff from Japan. Um, I was like, I've never heard of this. I've got a couple Frame Arms girls. I've got a few of Bandai's figureized figures, the Android 18 and the, uh, I think a Diver Nami or whatever. But, uh, and if you'd like to see, I'm, I'm thinking of doing like, bringing back the Heaven or Hell, the Versus thing where I compare similar figures. Um, if you'd like to see a comparison between Frame Arms girls or figureized and maybe even this, um, just let me know. But uh, I thought I would take a look at this. This is a Variable Fighter Girls from, I don't even know what that company is called, Aoshima. Um, but this is apparently based off of, I, I'm gonna say this wrong. I wanna say Macross. I have not watched Macross. Um, but, uh, this is the side of the box. We're doing an unboxing. Fighter, Gerwalk, Batroid. Yeah, that's my cross. Here it is. More of the art. Nothing on the back. Bunch of legal stuff. Um, this is, I want to say this had some, this was kind of expensive, but you know what, honestly, and Zaku really says it, if it's not Bandai, it's going to be expensive, especially, you know, but whatever. So let's see what's in here. I'm actually doing this for the first time. I've just popped it open. Okay, so uh, we have a whole lot of runners, a lot of small ones. Very Kotobuki it is. Uh, the bags. Let's see. Some flesh tone. Some uh, white and some like this plain part. So I'm wondering, looking at this, yeah, to say it, the FG. I was gonna see maybe this is part of another model kit. Some hair. More parts. More parts. All right, this is very frame arms, girls. You have the hands in a separate little baggie. Bit of flash on them, but you have the face in a separate baggie. And you have a sad, you have a sad face, uh, kind of a toothy cat grin, an angry kitty cat, and nightmare fuel that's probably hmm i was gonna say maybe that's what the face is attached to but i don't know all right and in here there's just a sheet of paper i guess that paper is there just to make sure those don't get scratched or whatever a lot of little plain parts uh oh. A disappointingly large sheet of foil stickers. I was going to compliment this on two sheets of foil stickers. Excuse me. I was actually going to say, hey, maybe this, with all those little parts, it'll be better than uh, Frame Arms Girls. But, uh, and those appear to be water slides. All right, and then here's the manual. It's a big manual. And uh, I'm going to look at this real quick off screen. Do, do, do. There's the back. Let's move this out of the way. There's the back. Got some uh, sticker guides and stuff, painting guides. Let's see. So, yeah. Um, I 
this A plate. I'm wondering, let me see if I can find this A plate. Yeah, the, it's kind of like old, I'm not sure if you can even see it, but that's where the, this is where the plating is. So you can barely see that, especially compared to modern Bandai stuff, you can barely see the letters, but no, it says VFG. So yeah, there's a lot of this stuff that's probably the same for them, but you can see all those grayed out parts that are whatnot. So let's, let's do this from the beginning. There's some artwork. And you can apparently have another kitty cat girl ride her. And that's what I thought they would do. They have you assemble the figure, the girl itself first. Uh, it does not seem to do that thing some Bandai kits do where they tell you what goes where and stuff. But this seems incredibly like a frame arms girl. Which I guess obviously there's a, this is a direct reaction to it. And then they have you build the plane. And then you disassemble it to transform, which is fine, I guess, for this because you, uh, you're you gonna combine it with the girl anyways. Anything special? No, she doesn't really seem to have any weapons or anything. Accessories. But uh, detail seems pretty good. Um, that sticker suit, though. I am curious. What is that extra face? What is that extra face? That's the back of the head? Okay, that's the back of the head. I don't know why it's not on a runner. Does she have, yes, yeah, she has holding hands, but she doesn't have any accessories, I don't think. So yeah, I mean, this looked like it had good part separation, but. Yeah, that's an amazingly large pile of parts, but. There's another one that just came out that I'm looking at. And honestly, this is going to seem weird, but I think this this might have where the legs connect to the waist. You know, you, you get that, that big gap when you move the legs forward. I think these might deal with that better. But um, I'll snap that together, and uh, hopefully we'll have more videos soon. So thanks for watching.